A bracket order is one of the simplest forms of automation. It enables us the ability to set both a profiting order and a stop loss order, both of which are going to work to get us out if the stock ever hits the price that we preset. We're either going to get out at a preset profit target, or we're going to get out if we lose a preset amount of money. So today we'll be going through the entire process of creating a bracket order on TradingView. We're going to learn exactly how to place it as a part of an opening trade, as well as on a position we already hold in our account. Now before getting started, I do also want to mention that if you'd like to give the TradingView platform a try, consider using my link down below to get a free 30-day trial to any of their paid plans. They do also have a basic free plan as well, but it is going to be far more limited. But go ahead and check that out. Jumping right into it, let's go ahead and first begin by placing a bracket order on a brand new position, something we haven't even bought yet. The very first thing we're going to have to do before we can even place that trade is come over here to the far right hand side toolbar and open up the order panel window. Within this little order panel that appears over here on the left hand side, we can then specify exactly what we want to do. So how many shares do we want to buy? What price do we want to pay for it? And then after that, we can place the bracket order as a part of it. So we'll first need to begin by creating our opening trade. So how many shares do we want to buy? In this case, I'll first need to begin by specifying it is a buy ticket. I can then come down below that and specify the order type I want to use, whether it be a market order, a limit order, or a stop order. Now in this case, I'm not going to use a market order because I don't want to buy this stock immediately at the current price. I actually want to specify a price. So leaving the limit order selected, we can now come down to the price box and actually specify exactly what I'm willing to pay. And in this case, let's say I'm only willing to pay, I don't know, 141 even. Right below that, I could also specify how many shares I want to buy. And in this case, we'll go ahead and adjust it up to, let's say five shares. But now that we have the opening trade filled out, we've got an order ticket that says we want to buy five shares of Apple if it ever drops down to 141, we can now come down below that and set both our profit target and our stop loss target. Since I do want to use both of those, we'll come over here and check mark the both of them, check mark both the take profit as well as the stop loss target. And now down below, I can actually set those targets and we'll first begin with the take profit order. So right here in the second box, mark the price box. We'll go ahead and begin by first specifying, I want to sell it if it ever goes back up to 150. You can also see that all of the boxes around it, so the box above it and then the two boxes below it actually change to adjust what that is now saying. At the top, it's saying we're placing the order 900 ticks above the price that we're buying it, and a tick for a stock is just a penny. So it's saying 900 ticks or 900 pennies. Right below the price that we set 150, it also tells us exactly how much we would be making if it actually went up to 150 and sold it at that profit target. So in this case, it's saying if Apple were to actually go up to 150 and we sold it for that price, we would be selling it for a $9 per share profit. And because we have five shares, that would be a $45 profit. But now that we've got the profit taking order set, we can now come over here to the right and do the exact same thing for the stop loss. So this is going to be the price at which we would want to get out before we lose too much money. In this case, I'm going to come over here and we'll adjust it to, let's just say 136 for right now. So I'm essentially saying if Apple ever goes down to 136, get me out automatically because I don't want to lose any more money. So now, just like with the take profit order, you can see if that were to ever happen, I would be losing 25 bucks. So looking right here, we can see if it goes up to my profit target, I'm trying to make $45, but I don't want to risk more than 25 bucks on the trade either. Now, finally, the only other thing I have to do is specify how long I want these orders good for. And if we look down below, you can see the time in force is currently marked as a week only. But if I click on that, you'll see a few other options down below. So down here, we could just make these orders good for the day, good for the week, good for the month, or good till a certain date. But in my case, I'm fine with a week for right now. So we'll come back up here and select week. And now that I'm happy with this, the only thing I have to do now is hit this big blue button that says buy five shares of Apple at 141. Now, as soon as I click on that, you'll see the orders have been immediately placed. And there are a couple different places where we can go to check on that. Normally, you'd be able to see it right here on the chart on the left hand side. But at the moment, I have the wrong stock ticker pulled up. I am currently looking at AMD. So in order to change that, we're going to come up here to the upper left hand corner where it currently says AMD. I'm going to go ahead and click on that box, then come down here in the center and go ahead and throw in Apple, AAPL, and then click on it in the list below here. 
Now that I did that, you can actually see the working orders right here on the chart itself. So right here, I've got a working order to buy five shares with a limit price. And then right above that is my take profit order and then my stop loss order down below that. You'll also notice a little box right below my opening order ticket. So right here, it says the number one, and then it says plus $2 and 56 cents. And that's because I already have one share of Apple right now, and I'm currently up $2 and 54 cents on it. Now, besides looking at it right here on the chart, the other place I could have seen that this was a working order is down here in the lower left-hand corner where my trading panel is at. So at the moment, you can see I currently have the positions tab selected. So here it is again showing me my current position on Apple, that one share that I hold at 138.88. But above that in the toolbar, I could actually flip this over to the orders tab. And now if I were to scroll down a little bit, you can actually see those working orders right here. To make it a little bit easier to see, let me go ahead and open up this panel a little bit more so we can see all three at the same time. And now down here, we can see my opening trade to buy those five shares at 141, then the take profit and stop loss order. If later down the line, I wanted to cancel those orders or modify them in some way, there are a couple different ways I could do it, whether it be right here by simply right clicking on the order ticket, then coming over here to the menu on the right and either selecting modify order to edit it in some way, or coming down below and selecting cancel order to just outright cancel it. We could also do the exact same thing by coming up here to the chart. And right here, we could actually click and drag these order tickets where we want to move them to. So in the case of the profit taking order, let's say I didn't want to sell it anymore at 150. I wanted to go ahead and click on that and drag it up to, if we look on the right, I'm dragging it up to 161.47. And that would be a $102 profit if it ever hit that. You'll then see that as soon as I let go, it pulls up the little order panel on the right again. And then this is where we can actually put in a very specific number if we didn't want to use the price I just dragged it to. In my case, I want to be a little bit more precise with it. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and type in 162. We can again see that our profit taking order would be taking profit at $105 of profit on the table. And now that I'm happy with that, I'm just going to come down here and hit modify order. And there we go. So now on the left hand side, we can see we still have the open order to buy the five shares at the same price. We still have the stop loss at the same price, but now our profit taking order is all the way up here at 162. Later down the line, if I wanted to cancel those from the chart, I'm just gonna come over here to the right of the order ticket and hit the little X button to cancel the order. Then just confirm that I do in fact wanna cancel it in this little pop-up window by hitting yes. And now my bracket order has been canceled. But that's really it. That is how you're going to place a bracket order on the TradingView platform. And you'll see it's actually pretty easy to do. Now, in order to do the exact same thing on one of your current positions, it is pretty simple. We will simply come down here to the trading panel once again and find our positions tab. We'll then be able to see all of the positions we currently hold down below here. And then in order for us to put a bracket on it, we simply need to right click on the position. Then within the menu on the right hand side, we're going to select the button that says protect position. This will then open up the order panel on the right hand side. So we're going to come over here to the far right once again, and then we can specify if we want to place a take profit order as well as a stop loss order on this current position on Apple. In our case, let's say we do, we're going to do it very quickly. We'll select both the take profit as well as the stop loss. And I'm going to go ahead and set my take profit at let's say 160 even, and my stop loss is gonna be at, let's say 135. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna come down here and hit modify. And now looking on the chart on the left-hand side, we can see both the profit taking order and it's telling us if it did go up to 160, we would be selling our one share of Apple for a $21.12 profit. Or we can see if Apple were to go down and it were to hit our stop activation price, we would be getting out at a $3.88 loss. Just like before, we could also see this on the orders panel. If we come back down to the lower left and select orders. And again, right here are our working orders to sell it at either 135 or 160. But hopefully that helps and it gives you a better insight on how to place a bracket order within TradingView. It's fairly straightforward, so you should get the hang of it pretty quick. And if you do decide to open an account for yourself after this, consider using my link in the description and get that 30 day free trial. Now, if you do still have questions, please let me know down below and I will do my absolute best to help. And in the meantime, check out this video next. I think you'll find it helpful and I'll catch you guys all in the next video.